Hello everybody and welcome. Um, what I want to do is, I just got a, a very quick little job to do, which I thought I'd just show you, and that is I just want to fish off a few of those uh, hanging wall vases that I did yesterday. And so, to that end, I've got a little bit of clay here, which has already been kneaded. I'm just going to pull off a small lump and then we're going to go down there on the wheel head. I'm just going to handle the wool vases and finish them off. Just show you how I do that. So let's just wrap that clay up again. Okay. A ver si puedo continuar en, en castellano un poquito. <laughs> so that goes there. Now let's just swing the camera down here and let's just bring it in. bring it down there for a bit of detail. Okay. Yeah. Right. So so these um these are the guys that I did, you saw me throwing them yesterday. And so what, I, what I'm going to do is now, you know, I, I said to you that when they're a little bit cheese hard, uh, dureta de cuero se puede utilizar un trozo de madera. You can take a spoon or a piece of wood and just flatten, flatten the back. Incidentally, this one has actually got a crack in it there, and that's because when I was doing this, I I just manipulated it a little bit too much and bent it, and it cracked there on the corner. So that's something to be to be mindful of when you're doing that. So that one, in fact, I'm not going to do. There's no point in wasting time with it. These ones are all okay, and I've already actually already done that. Okay. What I'm going to do is now very quickly is with this tool, con este her herramienta, vamos a just finish that off and then with, with my thumb you can use a little bit of water, okay, just, okay, now the idea of these is we don't spend too much time on them because they are flower, flower pots, they're sold they're made quickly and they're sold cheaply and they have a limited lifespan anyway. So we want to take care with them but we don't want to labour over them. Alright. Okay. Uh, yo he dicho que estos macetas son hechos rápidamente y you know what? I've seen another crack on that one. I must have done these a little bit carelessly, you know. Never mind, I'm going to continue on for, for the purpose of this demo. Okay. We've got a little crack like that. You take a bit of wet slip and just put it there. Like that. And just leave it. Don't fiddle with it. Clean it up afterwards. Okay, okay, so we go. Arreglar los agujeros, terminar el fondo, and now let's take a little bit of. Now I'm going to roll out a little bit of clay here, and I'm going to do it here on on the top of my wheel, simply because it's a convenient little work table to to show you what I'm doing. So I'm going to take a, a piece of clay, I'm going to roll it out on here. Now you noticed I damped it and that's because they can dry out the handles. Hay que humidificar la, la superficie si no se, se seca mucho la, la arcilla. Okay. 
No, I think you've actually seen me do this in the past. When you roll, use the whole of, of your hand, and otherwise it'll go oval. Hay que utilizar todo el mano cuando hacen los longanizas así, si no, se hace ovulado, no redondo. Okay. Actually, I need a little knife, so I'm going to get that. Pottery knife. So. These are getting. As you roll them, of course, they get longer and longer, don't they? So. What I like to do is roll out here some handles which are, let's see how well we're in the picture down there, because we like to see, let's just bring it in a, a touch, yeah, okay. um, I like the roundness of this to Sort of blend in with the roundness that we've got there on the on the rim. So what I what I want to do is probably like that, and then I I bend it like that. That's one. Okay, I want to bend it like that, and then just, you see, that shape, so we're preparing these, like that, like that, we need one more do we, no we don't need one more because the other one's crap, we only need three folks, hey hey hey, I'm just going to get a little banding wheel because it's nice to work off a banding wheel, when you're doing this kind of thing. Hey folks, I've got a new banding wheel by the way. I got it down at Inseeker. Cheap and cheerful, but... It's not very good quality. But it only cost me 20 bucks. So. Right. We're going to take our hanging wool vase and you can just use your thumb take a halfway point and then wet your thumb and then just make a few little notches to key it take some slurry out of your wheel all right just put it over that, that part take the little looped handle Coge la, la asa así. Perdona, no estoy hablando en castellano. Y olvidado. <laughs> Just saying, I'm sorry, I forgot I'm supposed to be doing this clip part in castellano. Eso es la problema. Estoy en el medio de trama de conversación. Y... Okay, now we've placed that on there like that. What we now need to do is just blend it in, you know, smooth it in and with the slip there and the keyed surface that should make a good a good join I don't think I've ever had one of these come off you can have a sponge ready alright just to just to go over it now I do my own little particular you have to find your own way sometimes of doing things and I just like to terminate these in a, my own special way. Uh, I say my own special way. It's no, it's no secret. I just like to snub the ends. Yeah. Just put, jab my fingernail into it there. 
so easy to do, isn't it, when you're working with clay, sometimes just to accidentally your fingernail. Alright, that's that. I'm just going to smack my seal on, the, on its rear end there. And that's it. That's one small little um, hanging wall vase. I'm going to do another one though as we've got time, at least I think we have. So, again, just scratch this here, just where the, use your, you see, I said, I was making mention there about my fingernails, wasn't I? Your fingernails can be a, a curse and, and a blessing at the same time. You can use your fingernails very nicely to do certain little jobs which is good at other times they get in the way don't they and we find ourselves making marks when we don't want where we don't want them uh, diciendo que las uñas con las uñas podemos hacer muchas cosas buenas uh, preparando para poner uh, arcilla o una, una asa pero en otro, otro ocasiones se se hace daños a, a, a la pieza. So. so blending. Did I put some? Can't remember if I put slip on this one. He's gonna join. He isn't gonna. He isn't gonna go anywhere. As I say, I got this. Not this idea. I didn't get the idea from Johnny, but my brother Johnny, because he he. Of course, I mean, he borrowed the idea from somebody else and, and somebody else borrowed it before him. You see, we're always borrowing ideas from other people, aren't we? No one's actually really original. I mean, the idea of a hanging wall vase is, 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 is there's nothing new about that. They've been around for ages. But for me personally, that was when, when I saw Johnny making it and how well he made it and how quickly and etc. Um, I got inspired and that's how it happens you see you get inspiration it's it becomes contagious doesn't it and you you pass it on to the next person and so and so on and so forth all right so there's another one and why don't we do one more <laughs> so again find the mark where we're going to join it Otra vez con las uñas, vamos a preparar la superficie aquí. Coge un poco de el barro de abajo ahí. Metemos encima. Take the handle, handle. Coge la asa así. Es mejor trabajar encima de una torneta así. Y ahora monta la asa encima, que está bien en el centro. Make sure it's in the middle, folks, because, you know, it's easy to... You think you've got something in the middle, but then it isn't. What was I going to go on to say? Yeah, I got the idea from my brother Johnny, but actually his... He doesn't put the handle, his little handle, he doesn't do it quite like I do it. You see, everybody adapts. You borrow an idea, and then you modify it, and then you you run with it. That's the way it is. There's nothing nothing wrong with that. So you personalise it. In other words, you know you you now my now Johnny's handle, for example. If I can just quickly show you, I know I can show you on this dug one here. Voy a hacer una demostración como hace mi hermano Juan uh, 
este mi mismo tipo de, de asa. Sí, sí, yo puedo recordarme bien, porque ya es, es tiempo, bastante tiempo. Hace. Es long time since I was working for Johnny. And I said I worked there, it was back in. Back in, I don't know, the mid 80s. So he, he would take. Yeah, here's his one, you see. Now he. He would probably just wet it like that, maybe just scratch it a touch. And he would get the handle and he would bend it like a loop, you see, like that. I'll probably get a, a rude letter from him there. <laughs> I think he would put it on the back like that and then he would, he would tend to... You see that? He would tend to... And of course he would do it very much better than I've done it, but he would do it something like that. He'll he'll probably write to me and say, no, 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 it wasn't like that. <laughs> so, do you see? Do, do you you see there the, the, there's a difference there? You see, well, that's that's fine. You see, we all we all want to do it our, our own different way, and that's absolutely fine. Another way of doing it, of course, which is much quicker, and um, probably people will say, "Oh, I got a why don't you do it in such and such a way?" Well, another way of doing it is simply to put a hole here. You know, you just drill a hole there like that, and that's it. Okay, that's that's a way of doing it. But you know, we're wanting to. My grandfather said to me. On one of the few occasions he ever really spoke to me, my grandfather, that's Bernard Leach, he he said to me, one of the last times I saw him actually, he said to me, Simon, he said, uh, try to combine um, beauty with function in a piece of ceramic. So just smacking in a hole there might be functional, but it might not be beautiful. So we have to look for beauty. That's what we're about, isn't it? Looking for some beauty. We need a bit of beauty in our lives. So, um, so okay, this takes just a little longer. It's just as functional, but it's a darn sight more beautiful. It just, it looks, it looks that much better, doesn't it? So, here are a few examples. Aquí algunos ejemplos de este tipo de the asa. Vale? You can see them. Oh, did I put those seals on this one? Could have put a seal on that one. As my, again, as my brother John says, the reason we put a seal on, on the pot is so that when it breaks they know where to come and get another one. Which is actually quite a good idea. <laughs> Keep practicing. Sigue practicando.